Welcome aboard the 2013 model Grand Banks 43 Europa Chow Bella. So starting off in her uh, large covered cockpit here, uh, LED lights above, uh, built-in uh, teak table in the center. Um, there's two uh, folding uh, chairs that can be put away in storage or be out, and there's plenty of room for many other chairs out here. Uh, all of the rails, as we see as we go around the deck, are all very, very high, above pendulum height. This is the transom door that leads out to the large swim platform. Um, very, very easy, very comfortable. Shower underneath here. Very large, high combings all the way around the cockpit. Feels very, very safe. Engine room access is right here, and uh, plenty of room to get around all her systems there. Um, it, she, has the, she has the Cummins Zeus pods that have been extremely well maintained by her current owner. Um, storage locker out aboard here to starboard. So walking around the side deck to starboard, um, Nice high gunnels again, um, nice and wide, very high, uh, comfortable, safe passage uh, spot going back and forth. Uh, boarding gate here to starboard, there's one on the port side too. Um, this boat's got the mid rail as well, so just very, very safe at sea, very comfortable. You can always grab a rail, very easy. Uh, nice big foredeck here. Um, seating up here as a, as a bow seat. Um, two lockers up here. This one's going to have fresh water in it. Um, and like all Grand Banks platforms, it's set up for two anchors. One main anchor is here now uh, with straight chain, and the other one's usually set up with a uh, combination of road and chain. But very, very easy and a comfortable area. Um, nice uh, setup for uh, the, the cleats and the hose holes, all oversized like Grand Banks true tradition. Um, very nice cap rail out here to accent some of the highlights of the beautiful lines of the boat, but none of the teak moldings and overabundance of teaks of the older boats, uh, very much on the new boat style that we do today. Uh, leaning back here to the cockpit, the only place we have with teak decking is the cockpit itself, which is covered. That's all epoxy bonded down with no fasteners, and then everything else is a non-skid deck. Heading up to the flybridge. It's a very easy, comfortable staircase, good rails on both sides, so this is no trouble to transit in a sea. And for a 43-foot boat, it's very expansive. So looking off to starboard as I'm forward here, it's a large L settee full of storage below, very comfortable cushions, a uh, straight settee, and then there's a nice uh, teak table in between the two. Um, stepping up forward, you have two um, two pomponette uh, helm seats, so a guest seat and a captain's seat. Upstairs here we have two uh, newer Garmin screens, the 7215s. Very, very nice setup. Very easy to drive from here. I can see straight down to the deck hatch above, below. <clears throat> so we've got uh, autopilot, engine controls, uh, engine systems with the uh, vessel views, joystick control here. Just a very easy, comfortable setup. Fusion stereo inside here, storage port and starboard out port and underneath. So just a very nice area. It's a full, it's a very full long bimini all the way back to the mast. So the whole area is covered from front to back. Very, very nice. As we um, step back to the back, we have very nice Zodiac center console tender with a, a Honda four stroke outboard. Very, very nice setup. And then <clears throat> a very nice uh, uh, crane here um, that goes up and pivots both. Um, so there's no, ma no manual pins or anything like that. And then to the forward side, a very nice grill and then sink just outboard of that. So this makes a great wet bar. So you enter the salon through this nice, uh, you know, comfortable sliding door. Um, coming inside, you have an L-shaped settee to, to port with this uh, table that can either be more of a you know, small table that you can easily get in to use the seating, or if you're gonna dine in here or use for cocktails, you can open up both sides and make it into a nice large table. The, um, there's some bottle storage there, other storage underneath the settee itself. The electrical panel is in the back here, but very easy to sit there and operate anything you want. The 24, 12, and 220 circuit breakers are there for everything. Um, on the on the starboard side, <clears throat> there's, a, uh, there's a locker here with an ice maker inside. Um, there's a TV on a high-low lift here, and we've got the KVH uh, satellite system. Two very nice barrel chairs here for some, for some extra comfort on the starboard side. So very, very nice roomy salon that, that is on the same level as the cockpit, so all of this is really used as one area. Um, the windows open on the side here, 
and the front window opens forward so you can get a lot of uh, fresh air in here if you'd like to open the boat up. So coming up forward of the salon, the galley's on the same level. So on the starboard side, we've got two refrigerators here. We have um, uh, drawers, we have glass and bottle storage in here, convection microwave, uh, three burner cooktop, just a plentiful storage, enough to be able to load the boat up for a very nice trip, and we're going to see another area in a minute that's uh, got some extra expansive long-term cruising um, storage, uh, storage area. This island separates the two, and it also gives you a place just to set stuff up uh, or make plates if you're working in the galley itself. So there's another spot for, for silverware up here that's separate, uh, very, very, very nice feature so it doesn't take up what's inside the galley side. Um, underneath the helm seat there are three deep drawers and you can never have enough room for that stuff that always ends up in this area but very very nice. And then a nice uh, two-person helm seat here um, with a starboard door so this leads right outside to, to the side deck so if you're operating the boat from down here docking it's just very easy to walk right outside and beat your spring cleats yourself which is very very simple. So here, same thing as we saw upstairs, we have the Garmin screen, and there's one down here, the 7215, uh, the vessel views uh, by Cummins for the engines, all the start stops, the control for the joystick, main engine controls, uh, fuel and water level, um, the HF, and everything you need to operate the boat from. With the big windows all the way around, it is so easy to operate the boat from down below. Um, you know, so many times the, the lower station's a deficit station, and in this boat it's not. It's a very easy station to operate the boat from. So heading down below, three steps down. Starting forward here into the master stateroom, which is a large queen centerline berth. Plenty of headroom everywhere. Nice hatch above. Big opening ports on the side. Uh, a lot of storage underneath this berth. You've got four drawers underneath here. Another dead storage up underneath the mattress itself. Two nice cantaloupe reading lights on the forward end. Um, just a really nice finished space. Hanging lockers are on both port and starboard. Actually, that one they have shelves in, but you could remove them. And this other side is just an open hanging locker. So inside the master, you've got an you end suite head and shower, which is just on this side. So you'll see there's the sink, the head, and a nice stall shower that's separate with very good headroom and a nice, nice uh, master shower and head. Um, Heading aft, you're at the day head or the guest head, so it's right here in between. Again, very comfortable, good headroom, nice uh, opening port in there, and good lighting, very easy. And you can access this from the hallway, or if somebody's using this head, you can shut the door and then use it directly from the guest stateroom. So in this model, coming from the original 41 Europa based on the same hull design, one of the main differences was to make this stateroom much more open. In the 43 Europa, it was much farther under the deck side. So in this, we've widened the burst, uh, we've lengthened them a little bit, and it's totally uncovered with the nice hull side ports for uh, natural light on the side, hanging locker in here. This is a really, really nice stateroom. This makes the, the whole down below area in this boat very, very comfortable for a, for a couple or for four people easily to go on like a nice long cruise. So coming back upstairs, I just wanna show you one more area and uh, we'll see some pictures of it afterwards, but just generally in the center of the boat here, because the engines are aft, we have a big space. We turn that into what we call utility room storage. I mean, it's big enough to put 10 people down there standing, but you can really organize a lot of gear in here to go off for long-term stores for big cruises. There's also a very large separate freezer down here and a washer dryer. This is a really nice area. So it's a utility room, nice easy stairs to access the spot right down there. There's also some sight gauges to be able to uh, verify your uh, fuel, fuel levels beyond what the electronic gauge does. Thanks for coming aboard Chabella today.